Oh, and twist to release. Go ahead, go. <laughs> this ended literally saying release. I knew it. I don't know why. Oh, yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today it's time to go ahead and put our little battle tape on our fists, get our godly weapons out for some more record of Ragnarok season two. Man, we came to an epic conclusion involving my man Hercules and my man's Jack the Ripper, you know? Um the victor was decided in the form of a uh, blood that was actually utilized as a divine entity or weapon. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he used the, his own blood to make a damn weapon. Because anything he touched with those gloves on made a weapon. Right. So that was dope. Crazy. Yeah, the gloves can't be utilized as a weapon, but you can utilize any item. So that's Yeah, tight. anything you can touch, you can turn it into a weapon. So. See, I would have wished he could have like did some more stuff like, like with his like if you got blood on a fingertips, why don't you just go like Wolf Fang fist style and just just be cutting with his No, nah, he had to hurt him in that fight. That's yeah. where he died. So Yeah, Hercules about to steal off on his Yeah, ass. my favorite part of that whole fight was when he used a damn clock face. Yeah, he, you know you cold and as a when you can turn a clock face into a destructive and disc. cut a man arm off, right? So, but he, that he was sat great, there. yeah. That was great. Um, now we got Shiva versus uh, I don't know the man's name, Shiva a super versus sumo riding, wrestler guy. riding the sumo guy. That's what I call him, you know. What I'm saying they need to put in that Metal Gear Rising music when he um twerk or something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man. Um, I liked his design. You know, what I'm saying, riding. He's he's a womanizer. But that's one thing about Japan. You know, even though they are heavy set dudes that, you know, some people consider obese. I mean, I don't think they eat obese compared to American standards because they eat the healthiest food. They just pack on a lot of fat and muscle. But they are highly revered and respected, and a lot of women love sumo wrestlers over there, especially them little pony ponytails they be putting up when they like when they're the champion and shit. So, um, I don't know why I was looking at the damn, even though he technically wasn't, it, you know, Yokozuna from WWE. Oh, man, yeah. That's... <laughs> I was like looking at, he, you know, this technically is not, but I was like, why he look attractive a little bit? Right, it was just that um, Samoan that she was looking at. You know, Samoans be looking a little she bit. She love her some Roman Reigns, so. But I love me some Samoan. Boy, let me tell you something. I love him more than anybody on earth but before i got with him i thought i was gonna be with a samoan man let me tell you and when yoko Zuna was looking like a damn sumo wrestler let me tell you something so okay i'm rooting for the sumo dude on here because the last time you would have thought i would be rooting for hercules but i really was not jack the ripper was just so strategic and so great every yeah, move he made had he a reason a behind lot to it the fight. but i'm like you know what I kind of want to root for Shiva though, because Shiva looks so cool. Like anybody with cool, four arms better win. But he's arrogant than a motherfucker, and plus I mean, he's, kind of have a he's the main reason why the Indian audience ain't gonna be able to see him in action unless they bootleg the show. I'm trying to know what was the point problem. Can somebody explain exactly what was the problem? Mm -hmm. I mean, ain't she was supposed to, well, no, 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 they supposed to be peaceful. But anyways, that's besides the point. Well, he be point. destroying worlds, so probably not. Right, that's probably I don't know. I don't I'm know. completely not sure. Yeah, but we're going to go ahead and see, man. Hurry up. It's going to be episode seven, so let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You notice they, done, they start showing the Indian audience members. Right. But like, y'all see, man, got shit on me. Ooh. She was main wife. Okay. Kali? I love that they made them brown. Yes. I love the side boob. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they didn't make them light brown either. The frog? Yeah. That's the salt that he throw up. <laughs> Poor frog is shaking his boots. Me, sir. Are we going to two ups? Sound like right. Kermit. Hi ho. Salt. <laughs> I hurt this myself. Is a ritual. All right. Take your time. Don't mind me. You need that more like Brian James on him. You know what I'm saying? Throw it. I need to get you some draws. For all you salty haters out there, man. Let's go. Hit the thriller clap on him. 
Okay, I thought he was gonna do it over his head, never mind. So I like, take notes, yeah. Edward Elric. Hope I didn't bore you. <laughs> oh no, not at all. You're the young one. It's like we've already got past season I'm one. To enjoy this. You sure about that? Well then. <laughs> Let's get started. I thought he was gonna hit the stomp. Hell no, let's go. Oh, drop kick! Perfect shot of the crotch. But instead of using one of the 48 winning sumo techniques, he jumps into the fray with a flying kick. Or maybe this is 1080p, but we saw you. Why did I know he was gonna do that? <laughs> Not too bad. Well, well. Looks like this was worth the wait. <laughs> he's not even using conventional sumo techniques. I'm surprised. No, he's not. Oh, yeah. You're done. I mean, he kind of, I wouldn't either if I was him. He's probably doing that because Shiba ain't ready. Come on now, Shiba. Get prepared. <laughs> It's like this nigga probably fucked one of the strongest Valkyries. And this what it looked like he was up there doing. What? Oh, his arms. He got the ultimate defense. Oh I mean, shit. You got a lot to learn. That's what I'm saying. With four arms, there's no reason you should lose. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm finna order order your titty nipples, nigga. Ooh. Damn it! I was so sure this battle was over. Really? He's got to be bluffing. Isn't it, though? Bastard! Right from the start, they're attacking each other with everything they have. A partial shootout between man and god. This is what Ragnarok is all about. It is. Whoop his ass! Slap his cheeks! He never changes. He's just as rowdy and reckless as ever. You seeing this on a gala? Yeah, that's right, for you. Oh, no. that. I need more. More, I say. Like, give me more fierce. Yeah, right. the fun part. After all, who doesn't love a good test of their own strength? Right? There's nothing else like it. Me hitting that Ujiro pose on him. That's so. Ujiro and Frieza. Guess I'll unleash all my power on you then. Right. Sound like fun. Oh, yeah. The year was 1767. Here we go. One fifth of the had to do it in the middle of a fight in the province of Shiba. Oh, Ishi Village. So everything must be delicious over there. Every human was born. <sighs> it must be daddy. Three years old and he still can't stand up. Really? He should have been on his feet by the time he turned one. Oh. <sighs> What are we supposed to do? Son, you really did it! Boy, Dad's eyeliner is You're fierce. Standing up. No, look at his too, though. Right? We are so proud of you, my sweet boy! <laughs> Mommy! Oh! God damn! That don't look good. He got brittle bones? <gasps> what the hell? Time in his life. Tarokichi stood up. Oh, when he fell his ass down. What if his body is too strong for his mind to handle? But the bones in his legs, his arms, and his ribs shattered. When did he do the Detroit smash? It wasn't because his bones were weak. It was because his muscles were far too strong for his body to withstand. What I'm telling you, man! The boy found a way to suppress his strength and stopped his body from Okay, I'm pretty sure this isn't that deep. I know this is not historically accurate, but uh, he developed a new it's a cool backstory. Muscles, I like it. Like a hard outer shell for the others. Mm. He called this technique the Hundred Seals. Hell yeah. So he's basically suppressing his power and going to unleash it in a moment. What? You heard the backstory, bitch. Go ahead and twist to release. Go ahead, go. 
<laughs> this ended literally saying release. I knew it. I don't know why. It's like, what the fuck? That's hilarious. It's like one of those medicine bottles you gotta push down and twist. Seriously? After all that, you're going to self destruct. Rude. I'm counting on you. What? Oh, okay. Baby mama finna go ahead and keep his muscles intact. What is she like, divine bracelet to our waist trainer? She's something. He just. He just losing it. Goddamn Broly over here. He Basically. Just when his muscles were about to destroy him. The man with the strongest muscles in the history of the world use all of his strength for the first time in his life. Nothing can hold him back now. Look at my nuts. His belly's gonna expand, probably. Oh. This shit, man. Yeah, take a deep breath. Decided to start being friendly muscles? Well, it's about time. Do me a favor. Try not to get crushed. Mm. Uh, Boy, he looked like no way. <laughs> do well to mind your tongue, Cuban. I think you should be a lot more worried about my friend. Hey. Now even I don't know what they're capable of. Okay, let's see, man. Ooh! I hear those bones shatter. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. Close line. He hit the goal yeah, right on him. For real, man. That big arm bomber. Sorry, he's not even paying attention to what's behind him. <laughs> well, I hate to rush. Finish him. But it's time to end this. I hear. Every time somebody starts talking like that, they start losing. Right. Not and I'm not even a. Donkey Cheezo. Of course. Damn you. What did you do to me? You've got skills. The eyes but have it. So do I. Damn. Get him. Not the love handles. Oh shit. Double show you, okay? No. You're not the only one here with a thick skull, you know. Mm. Mine's a weapon all on its own. And now it's my turn! It's like I'm a walking statue, mofo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Ooh. Ah, are all those arms just for decoration? Quit throwing such weak punches! Why did they do? He just looked like Star playing them. He, he do. They I mean, got a whole comb out. Right? You know what? I think I've had enough. Okay. Wow. Gonna break this man arm. These guys have the best grip, especially when it comes to the pinky. Why would I do that? Ooh! Oh, yeah. Indian burn to the max. Uh, he's gonna twist his wrist or flip the fuck out of him. Let me tear the whole thing off. Well, we got three arms. <laughs> right, turn the nigga shit into a twizzler. He got three arms left. He better use a wisely. No wonder they say he has the strongest muscles in history. He channeled all of that inhuman muscle into his arms. And he used it to crush Shiva's arm in an instant. <laughs> We're about to witness truly untold power. After all, he has through with him. The mm -hmm. third of the Valkyrie sisters. Third of the Valkyrie, the mighty one. I call them Mighty Wings. Young Sichov. Twelve Saint Beast looking ass down somewhere. We always like this. Guess I got no choice. They're counting on me after all. 
What hidden power are you finna unleash? Hmm. You gotta pose for one of the balls. I don't need to see them in a bad thing. I've got the hopes and dreams of those gods on my shoulders. So I'm sorry. But it looks like I'm gonna have to kill you! Bro. <sighs> What really? Is doing? That was too wide a swing. It has to be a catch. There is a catch. Looks like his center of gravity is off. Ooh. The heavier somehow. Okay. It looks a dent in that man's arm. Ooh, I hate how that one is just hanging. Is that supposed to be Hanuman with a cat face? I will. <laughs> oh shit, my Cheerios. I like how this is just a battle of pure strength. Yeah. yeah. Choke him! Choke him! Let's oh. go, guys. Jubei from Ninja Scroll would be proud. Get your head in the game. They are doing the berry mode. Hey, yes. Come on, everybody, clap your hands now. All right. I almost forgot what it felt like getting fired up like this. It's been thousands of years after all, hasn't it? Rudra. What? What are you trying to say? Is he trying to say that this guy is like a reincarnation of a god he knew or something? Or who knows? Because like he just said a random name, and I don't even know why. I mean, well, it must not be too random. He probably know who that is. I don't know. We'll see. Who is Gutra? Or oh, whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> but uh, guys, that was episode seven. Man, that was a very good fight. Just simple shonen antics, which involves just fisticuffs and power. You know power sets and stuff mm -hmm. you know like i really like that i also like i don't know why i've just on, been on the money with the, these episodes you know what i'm saying yeah, you've <laughs> been guessing everything a mile away i'm like look at you look yeah at because you. This, this is what i wanted from the jump i was like you have all the ingredients to just release the shonen cliches because that's something that'll never get old you know especially battle uh, battle manga and shonens and stuff just let it all out man Go crazy. You got all these crazy looking characters. Use that. You know, I can see it coming a mile away, but I like the way it's executed. Especially this guy whose muscles I predicted were just going to be like too powerful his own body to stay in, you mm -hmm. know, because they're growing at a rapid rate, you know? Yeah, that was really good. Um, I was excited for this fight, and I am glad that it is. Yeah, I am glad that it is just, you know, fists, you know? Yeah. So far. I mean, that thing is weird with his, oh, my muscles didn't, this and that, you know, whatever. But it's just them punching each other back and forth, which usually I wouldn't like, but I actually was looking forward to that. It's like, no, no, the divine power of the such and such sword or none of that, you know. It's just, hey, let's just see who can headbutt each other the hardest. And that's who wins and that's who wins. Right. Um, So, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this episode. I guess I'll give this episode, I'm going to give this an A+. Plus. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A plus too. I like the big Valkyrie. She kinda reminded me of that chick, um, I think her name is Marissa from Street Fighter Six, you know, the big gladiator Spartan chick. Kinda puts me in the mind of that character, you know, just big and brooding and stuff. Has a little bit of sex appeal, even though the muscles or the titties look more like pectorials, but they got a little jiggle to them, especially when my man right and put his face up in there, you know what I'm saying? Right, he was having him a good time. That was pretty funny. I was like, Lord, please don't try to sleep with the, the tiny one. That. And then she came through the door and was like, "Right, um, polar opposite, okay. It's like whoever can possess me literally, you know what I'm saying? It's like he actually had to earn that power in his little sacred chambers of love. Hide the weasel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like sometimes you can't help it. This man got big hands and big feet, so you know what the women is curious about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's a wrestler, so he has the best of all worlds but anyways guys we're gonna keep it moving and grooving to see how this is gonna play out because i got a feeling that sheba is gonna like pull out his ace in the hole you know 
because I feel like these guys are kindred spirits, like they know each other from previous lives or something. So let's see what they're talking about. Let's see if I'm gonna be right again. Hey, is this Asura? Don't you ever get tired of training all day long? No, day. he said it was uh, that name he said the last time. I know. I was well, just... I want to be as strong as I can be. Rudra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You always say that. Where my nigga Agni at, though? You know, this sort of thing is pretty entertaining, too. Come on. Get it? Me. Yeah. Come over here and dance. Somebody's taking a picture of us. You know we got those ancient paparazzis out here ready to make a picture or... <laughs> A oh, piece of art. Just for a bit. Get it. What are you getting down? Two of them like a little cow over there. But they were the best of friends. When times were good and burgers didn't exist. Skidok, we need help. Elder of the Sura clan. We don't have a leader. Sumsha. Sumha. The god of destruction and the storm god are our strongest. Did you say the god of destruction and the storm god? <laughs> I never heard of that, but those days are ridiculous. I mean, how late? Can you can tell he be eating people out <laughs> from different directions. They got six on Because that would be a mistake. Nice to meet you. I'm the Storm God. And I'm the God of Destruction! Bring it on! You ever notice how you always beat me to the first punch? Guess we're gonna fight. Might as well have some fun. Oh boy. Let's go. Got that Beyonce and Sean Paul music playing. <laughs> the two of them fought all day. As far as Shiva was concerned, she was the perfect friend. I've got a dream. You what? <laughs> you have a what? <laughs> you hear this guy? He has a dream. <laughs> Yeah, you can have a dream. Yeah, sorry. Shiva, my dream is to climb to the top of the world of the gods. Mm. I just have to know to find out how good I really am. And because I want to experience what no one else has, to be the first. You want to see what no one else has seen before. As long as I'm with you, everything seems to be No, fun. he was laying in the grass and dance. So have cow. you seen what these female yeah, elephant yeah, guys do with their tusks and stuff? Me no choice. Please leave. Please get out. With those nice snouts. No, 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 no. They suck in more than water, you know. Slowly but surely, the road before them opened up. Mm. With each god they defeated, they gained a new name, as well as the hopes and dreams of their opponents. Uh-oh. Your legacy is ours. We'll carry it for you. Okay. To the list, another one. That's right. They're counting on us. We can't lose. DJ Khalid. They fought countless battles against many powerful gods. The god of destruction at the storm. Oh, there you go. Oh, we've been looking forward to it. Jojo character. He's a sweet <laughs> We play that Pillar Man music. Who do we have here? He is the one who defeated Fritra, Indra, the Thunder God. Uh oh! I didn't like in Toki. He do. Any of the gods we It's like I'm gonna smoke on a Shiva pack. That's why I came here. And I never had a choice. I'll take you both at once if you want. No way. That's what I'll he said. One on one. We'll see about that. <laughs> so as this blunt hits the ground, it's over for you. <laughs> well, I tell you, I already opened up another pack. Oh shit! Uh, what was I now? <laughs> You're pretty good. <laughs> Indra was no match for you, huh, Rudra? Yeah, of course not. Oh no. Alright. You know what that I like how he just started getting down after every fight. Right. <laughs> of course I will. Because I'm the true lord of the dance, remember? Now stand up and join me. Brahma. Brahma like uh the rock the Brahma bull? 
I was wondering where I was gonna see Vishnu. Ooh, I was wondering what his teeth was gonna look like. I like that adaptation. The greatest legend of all time. Storm God, God of Destruction. Defeated a thousand one hundred and fifteen gods and stood together at the pinnacle. This view is it does look nice. They do. Just imagine looking at the nice sunshine. Oh, somebody's gonna get Heihachi Mashima though. You're gonna push him off the damn. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I didn't even realize what you meant when you said that. Then I was like, oh, you're gonna push him off the. Oh, that's what you meant. Mm -hmm. Rudra, you've got to try this. It feels so good, huh? Shiva. Hey, remember when no one believed we could do this? No one believed the two of us would be able to make it to the top. I said I wanted to be the first. We proved them all wrong because we're the best. There can only be one. Shiva. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> Shiva. Fight me. Only one of us can stand at the top. That's right. That spot can only belong to whoever is the strongest. No, I don't know what you're talking about. We carry the hopes of all the gods we've defeated. Don't let anyone beat you. You have to prove that you're the strongest. You know that's what they're saying to us. Besides, that's my dream too. Who's the strongest? Me or you? Shiva, I have to know. You leave me no choice. I can't. We're going to battle. All right. We're going to do a dance battle. <laughs> right. It's like Ken and Ryu, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Probably gonna tear the whole mountain down. It's like they're gonna headbutt each other so much, it's gonna continue to just. <laughs> Shiva and Rudra was the fiercest in the history of the gods of India. The sound of them hitting each other echoed across the whole continent. Hmm. Dang. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Just stay down. Don't get up, Rudra. Please. It's not over yet. We just begun! No. Please, don't make me keep hitting you! Damn. It's not over. You have to stop. It's not over. I was gonna say that. I was like, I was blown away. What more can I say? I'm begging you, stay down. You're in Shiva? You're a pretty funny guy. <laughs> Look at the baby animals. <laughs> Look at the baby muscle arms. I am Rudra. I don't care! I have no choice. That's what I was saying. Hmm. Well, you gonna just gonna bow out like Rita, that? You must be the strongest god in the whole world. That, the disrespect. Uh, I said I lose. What? Ruder, what do you mean? Why would you say that? Shiva. Uh, Someone fights you with all they've got. You have to give it your all, too. You can't hold anything back when someone's putting everything they have on the line. Because that hurts them worse than death ever caught! <laughs> Ruda, but I... You were... You wanted this. You wanted to climb to the top. This was your dream! Don't cry, you idiot. Shiva, take care of them all, okay? You, you leave me no choice. Wow, so that's how he got his markings. Dope. <laughs> that trip was the most fun I've ever had. Now who's gonna start dancing? Right. Take care of yourself, Shiva. So what, he became a human all of a sudden, or? God of destruction -ness. Yeah! Shiva came to stand at the top of the gods of India. And in exchange, he lost his best friend. I knew you'd come. Hey. 
Rudra. That's the top. I love how they got him looking. And he's starting to get reckless. Mr. Chitter Chatter. I understand why. He's the nicest person in the world. But when he gets to fighting someone, he likes fist to fist communication more than anything. That's just who she is. Seeing a backstory honestly makes me want to root for Shiva right now. Mm. Smiling the whole time. At that moment, Shiva began to dance to the rhythm of the universe. It was a rhythm that only he could hear. You better do that. Okay. Right? Did they know what they're saying now? So he's gonna dance all over your fucking grave, nigga. <laughs> Ooh, sashimi. Ooh. We're going usher mode. It ain't gonna be none of that. Somebody turn off his beats. I think they made him look like Star Platinum. You think so? And then they got him saying that, and they just. I mean, they didn't make him look like that. But hey. Get it, boy? I just cannot not see Star Platinum. Alright. You shouldn't be so full of yourself. Uh oh. Hit Papa Pump! I can take everything you've got! That's very nice. It's between your muscles and my dance now. We'll see who's stronger. The battle is on! Alright, this nigga right here is going Luffy mode with them damn horns. Where's coming from? He's on fire. It's super combustion. Because of that fierce dance, Shiva's body is changing. Damn. He's been excited. <laughs> wow, the blood evaporated. That's right. You're witnessing the secret move of the strongest god of India. Now I win. Ooh, uh -oh. the Kazuya. That's that book of tea right there. Ooh, just so got it, my nigga. Ooh, right across the ice. It doesn't matter how crusty the heel of your foot got to be for you to do that to somebody. <laughs> Remember, that's just the outer shell, though. Damn right it is. The gods and the humans were certain. The humans were about to suffer their third loss. But Tommy Mon Ryan did not He went and been a play games. Hey. He grinned quietly. What a pain. What a pain indeed, baby. Let's go. Boy, they got him saying, what a pain. The right. dude looked like Star Platinum. He done went all the all, all, all upside his head. They know what they was doing with this. Good grief. I know I'm not crazy. Yada, yada, gazelle. But uh, yeah, man, Um, good fight. Good backstory. Well paced with the backstories we've mm -hmm. gotten from both characters. Even though, you know, Asura, uh, or Shiva and Asura, there was a lot more to their stories. What's it? Uh, no, Ruja. Yeah, Ruja. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. I forgot the Asura. They have six arms as opposed to four. But yeah, Ruja's story. At first, I thought they was trying to imply that Ruja, like... Was reincarnated to... or something. Yeah, because especially when he said, you sound like a human. What you got dreams for, man? Like, what the fuck is this? No, but I'm glad Ruja was there to cheer him on. That was nice to see. And he was up there getting down, you know? They Get was. I had a feeling that he was going to apply that to his technique because there's something that, like, whenever you see that, you know, especially within, like, media, how a Sheba dance is like a mesmerizing dance that's also hypnotizing, you know? It's like you don't know how to counteract it or nothing, you know? It just 
be all over the place. I'm actually really glad that we got to see a lot of the other Indian gods on this. Mm -hmm. And I liked how they made a lot of them look. Um, I was really excited to see Vishnu. I was thinking that maybe Vishnu might be in the, one of these fights, but who knows. Um, Cause you know, he, he has the thing with the teeth and I was like, I wonder how they're gonna do that. And he made him look like somebody from Hellraiser, which was kind of cool. Um, and uh, Brahma, they had him looking like my bald head uncle. Um, one of them. Right. They, you know, that just looked like somebody's uncle. You like the rock? <laughs> <laughs> I like. I, I do like the character design though for for all of them. Just about all. The only thing that was missing was Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I have to give this episode. I, I'm not gonna lie. The backstories, the change, how they did the backstories this season versus last season it's just so drastic in my opinion like you can really follow along with them better they the animation is good on them it just makes more sense um mm -hmm. even when they happened in the middle of the battle which i usually don't like it still was good so i have to give this episode an s yeah i'm gonna give it an s too man you know what i'm saying they getting down it's like i ain't gonna lie the power of friendship did kind of play a part up in this i like one. that though but you like you said this is like a one of those things where you can use all of those shonen um those shonen cliches yeah, and tropes the, yeah exactly as long as they're like i said executed properly they have a backstory yeah. they're not pulled out completely out of your ass i mean you got to pull it out you know kind gradually. of gradually yeah I, I did like that whole power friendship thing i thought it was going to be like they were super polar opposites what they were opposites but i thought he was in like dance with me he was like oh, you feel like i'm somewhere he was like dance with me and he was like okay right okay let me see what <laughs> and they started dancing together that was so cute i'm like i, I want a friend i can dance yeah, with. the only thing that was missing was the justin timberlake song don't be so quick to Walk away, away. Come on and dance me. That would have been hilarious. Somebody should put that music over that. <laughs> anyway. Wave your arms in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Wave your arms in the middle of the floor. <laughs> That's hilarious. <sighs> yeah, man. Um, shout out to the uh the team, man, who did this animation. Well done. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to you guys. If there's anything we may have missed or gotten misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us. And let us know what you liked about this episode and how you like our reactions, man. Does it excite you that we're excited, especially on these last two episodes that we're going to watch? Because apparently this is going to be a two-parter kind of um, season where it gets cut in half. So there's a possibility that we might see a gradual increase in the animation in this second half that they're gonna be releasing later on, so. Oh, yeah. okay, so it's, this is just 10, it's gonna be Yeah, they're kinda treating it kinda like how we've been seeing a lot of other recent series. I could appreciate that. Yeah. I could appreciate that. I thought this was it. I, I'm glad, um, yeah, I'm glad to know. Yeah, cause it seems like season one was like the pilot, kinda like what, um, Castlevania was where they just gave us a little taste mm -hmm. and it was like alright guys let's see you later and then they doubled the episode count so that's what I'm kind of looking at this as but yeah guys um, that's going to do it for us today this is your boy RBG aka the Random Black Gamer my lovely white generally on the ones and twos we ain't seen the reactions we'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Record of Ragnarok Season 2 peace